Hello, this is the VTU Teacher Portfolio Project, video number five. I'm Mark Lonergan, and we're going to talk about how to add and edit images today. Now, for today's video to be most effective, you should have one good photo of yourself or of your teaching, of your work, saved on your Google Drive or on your desktop of your computer. Um, today, we're going to talk about how to add and delete and crop and resize an image, and also talk about how to add an image that is available on the web. So uh, let's get started by taking a look at your portfolio. Now my template is looking a little bit different, more and more different from yours each day. Um, so let's start with deleting an image. This one has this teacher portfolio project logo in it, and I'd like to get rid of it. You can see it couldn't be any easier. As soon as I click on that item, a trash can is one of the items. So I'm going to just click the trash can, and it's gone. Now this image here, I can also delete it. That's fine. But another option they give me is, if I click on this More Dots, I get a choice of um, replacing the image. So let's try that and see how this one works. I'm going to replace it, and like I said, I've got one saved on my desktop. So I'm going to upload this one image that I have saved on my desktop. It is the one good photo I have of me, so maybe you've seen it in other places. Cropping is the one thing that is challenging with Google Sites. Unlike a normal cropping tool where you can kind of drag the corners until you get the view that you want, you have to do this piece by piece. First, you have to ad adjust the width of your picture. Then you have to adjust using the left and the, the circle at the left and the right. Then you've got to adjust the length by using the circle at the bottom. And then you can use the crop tool to zoom in and out. There may be better ways to do it, but that's the way I've found that works for me. So this one, for example, the width is, mm, can make it a little narrower, but I'm going to keep it like that for a minute. Just so you can see what happens next, I'm going to adjust the length of the photo and stretch it out a little bit. I want to have a little bit of headroom, but not too much headroom. So let's see what that looks like. And then when I click the crop button, it actually gives me a slider. And I slide up to zoom in. Oh my. Um, so let's stay, I don't know, right there. My mom will like that at least. I'm clicking the check to let it know that I'm done. Now, another way to add to, uh, an image is to insert an image. So I'm going to go down here to a blank space and press the Insert Image button. And again, it's going to ask me, do I want to upload or select? Let's see what Select does this time. I click on that, and it says I can put in the URL address. I can search the web, um, or I can pull something from my Google Photo Albums or my Google Drive. Um, these last two are pretty self-explanatory, and the search is actually not super powerful. Um, but I will show you how to do a URL search. So let's say, for example, that I worked at Charlestown High, and I wanted to include the Charlestown High logo on my portfolio. So on the web, before I upload, maybe I'll do a Google image search, and look what pops up, the Charlestown High logo. Now if I right click on that, what comes up is a list of options including copy image address. I'm going to select that, and then go back to my portfolio, and when it says by URL, I'm going to copy and paste Command V there. Oh no! Hmm. We're going to have to do this whole thing again to figure out why that didn't work. Let's see. I'm going to zoom in. Copy image address. And then go over here and do... Oh, there it is. I think what I did, the, the difference between the first and the second time, the first time I just used this thumbnail. And the second time I actually clicked on the thumbnail in the Google search and right-clicked on the, the larger version of the picture that popped up. 
seems like a small difference, but hey, whatever. Uh, once it pops up, I'm going to click Select, and there it is. Let's say if I wanted to make this one a little smaller, I might start by adjusting, again, the width. Maybe I only want it two columns wide. And then I'm going to go up and down to get the height. And you see it kind of shrinks it as I move up and down. And so sometimes I don't even have to worry about the resizing, but if I wanted to, I could click the crop button to resize. Let's check and see how we're doing here. We added, we deleted, we cropped, and let's add a link to, to an image. So let's say um, for this image right here, I'd like, if someone clicks on it, I'd like it to go to my resume page. So when you click on an image, you can see there's a, a link icon right there. If I click on that, it will give me the option of typing in an ex external website or going to one of the pages within my website. So I, I'm going to scroll down and say, I'd like that to go to my resume page. I'm going to click Apply. And now let's see what happens. Ready? Here's what it looks like in preview. Ooh. We don't need to be zooming in on that, do we? But if we click on it, it goes right to my resume page as planned. I think we're all set for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.